so much of this debate. Because a lot of it really sums up as just let them eat cake. Who cares about the struggling workers who are at home right now who are really only asking one question? Why has it taken us this long? Why has it taken us this long? So many of the arguments that you've heard today, they are difficult to decipher because in my opinion, Mr. Speaker, they don't make a lot of sense. So in one breath, you've heard, Mr. Speaker, from previous speakers that nobody pays the minimum wage. Everybody pays above the minimum wage. If that is true, then what fear do you have of raising the minimum wage? We've also heard, Mr. Speaker, that raising the minimum wage, the chicken little song and dance is out again, the sky is gonna fall, there will be no more jobs. Why hasn't that happened in West Virginia? Why hasn't that happened in Ohio? Why hasn't that happened in Delaware? Why hasn't that happened in New Jersey? Why hasn't that happened in New York? Why haven't we seen our border states flooding in to Pennsylvania because we still pay $7.25, which really we should stop calling a minimum wage. It is a starvation level wage. 